Hello YouTube, this video is meant for people who uh, know Python, uh, object oriented programming and have a comprehension of how lists operate in uh, Python. So if this, m if this information doesn't appeal to you, uh, just stop watching unless you're uh, interested by at this point, then in this case I suggest you keep watching and learn qu quickly. The first thing you will notice in this um, this piece of code is the class var. Uh, it only stores a single value, and which is a list, an empty list when it gets initialized. Uh, it has getters and setters for um, for the entire list and for single values, and it can add values to that list using the method append, uh, which just appends the list a value at the final point in that list. Um, in this case, I want to define an, a list containing unique objects of the int, of the class var, which should which also contain unique lists in within within these objects. So these objects should contain unique lists, and th these objects also should be unique. And the information that's going to be stored in these lists will come from a randomly generated table. So uh, the, R var, uh, the R operation here is defined as a rand int from the module random uh, which I used just to generate the table. So here I generate a table uh, of, two by of, of 4 by 6 and I select a column 2 where are we going to be so be sorting by? Uh, and it's it's at this point it's still unsorted, and we'll see that in the output. Uh, moving on, I've got a list T. This T list will actually be going to be containing the objects. So T, this is T at this point, and by the end of this uh, operation, uh, which which you can see here, it's going to be containing lists, single lists with only one object var. So uh, this is going to be var uh, 0, this is going to be var 1, uh, and and so on. So it's going to be a list containing lists with only a single value which is an object var. And these are all uniquely defined because they get reiterated every time uh, and have an, in, an unique pointing a unique value pointing to them, which is uh, a point in the list of T. I'm also going to make a copy of the original data table, which is the table U. So if I modify U, I won't be modifying uh, tab, the original table. So we can uh, we can we can use this one again if we lose some data in this one. Moving on. Um, at this point, the table uh, the, the table T should contain variables, uh, the objects var, with um, here append. I'm going to add the value. As we've seen, this, this method will append this value to the list defined in this object. So in this case, if i is 0, this object T o, uh, o is going to be this object. This object contains a list uh, to which I'm going to add a value tab i j. So um, if, if you can read this uh, easily, you will see that this should make the list of uh, the values in t as long as the list in tab, uh, which is the width is 4, as we've seen here. So um, but but it doesn't do that, and we'll see that in the output. In this in this part, I'm going to be setting the list in these objects to the list defined in U, and U is just a copy of tab. So these are for uh, long these rows, and they get set in this T uh, object. So I'm not going to be printing. Uh, in this case, I'm not going to be printing the values uh, contained in U but the values contained in the list in this object TIO. This is pretty important, so keep a note, uh, make, make a note of that. Uh, then I'm going to be sorting the list 
of objects. Now I can't sort by objects, but I can sort by the values stored in these objects. And I'm going to be doing that by um, appending the list within the list of lists, D, uh, with a value obtained from the object in those lists. So every object uh, for every row in T, I'm going to be taking the object uh, in that list. Uh, which is only one object. I'm going to get the value uh, contained within that object at in column C, which is 2. We've seen that before. And I'm going to append this value from that list to the list containing the object. So in this case, T used to be just uh, the list of objects, so only var was in there. But now I'm going to append this. Uh, inner list with the value C uh, or the value at uh, column C of the list in contained in object var. So this uh, value here corresponds uh, to the value stored in the same object as uh, in this inner list. So T is going to be a list of objects and values. I can now sort by the values at column 1 in table t. So I'm gonna uh, t is uh, t will be an instance of himself sorted by column number one, which is the column containing the values. And I'm gonna print it and this piece strips the value c from this inner list, leaving only a uh, list of objects with list with var. So in at this point t will be the same as uh, it was at this point only um, sorted. So in this case it's still unsorted and at this point it's sorted by the values stored in the objects at point C. So if I run, uh, if I run this, uh, I have to save it first, but if I run this you can see uh, it, this is the initial uh, data. This, these are all random va values. You can see here the list T at point 00 it has an object uh, which itself contains this uh, list. This list is the first row in the data table and this is what's been bugging me for a while and I finally solved it by using this method of sorting. It will append the values in the second column and uh, the second row to the uh, values in the first row and store that in a second object. So these objects are going to be pretty unique since they all have a different length of um, of, va of values, uh, of lists containing values. This is not what we want to see. This is not useful when we, we only want to sort by this because every value here is the same as in the f in, in previous objects. So even if we were to sort these objects by their second column, it all be 17, and that's not that's not useful. So this this has no use for us. The U uh, table is the same as the tab table. That that works out fine. Now where I t said you have to take a note is at this point here. Um, here it prints the list it gets from the objects in the va uh, variable T. In, in the list T. And as you can see these are not uh, the same lists as they contain here. They do contain these lists at this point but as at this point they only contain these lists and this is this is what we want to have. If I, if I go back to the code this is the point where that occurs. Let's see. Um, I can't find it. Yeah it happens here. We have the table U, which is a copy of the original table, and we set the vals. The, the, the whole list gets replaced by a row of, from that uh, table U. So this replaces every, uh, every list in every object in T with the row of table U, um, which we can see here. So that, that, uh, that, that print statement is over here where it gets the values of t and not print the values in the rows of u. So this indicates that this, these values are actually stored in the objects var in t. Uh, moving on to the sorting bit, this is the original uh, list of objects. We can all see uh, this is the object var 
stored at this point in memory. If we look at the memory points, uh, they are all unique. So these are all unique objects. If these were the same object, which is possible, you can have multiple pointers pointing to a single object. These would be the same, but they're unique. That's a good indicate indication of uh, that, that what we want to happen is actually happening. We can see the appended values from the column 2. Column number 2 is this one. 0, 1, 2, 17, 15, 18, 22, 8, 6. Uh, which we can see here it ends with 6. So uh, 17, 15, 18, 22, 8, 6, 6. Oh, uh, just 6. And then we're going to sort this list by the second column, uh, by the f actually the first column in that case, column number 1. Uh, and that's going to be 6, 6, uh, 6, 8, 15, 17, 18, 22. And you can see that the associated objects get sorted too. And then uh, I'm going to strip these values again, which we saw in the last bit of code over here. So um, that's over here. The row gets replaced by a row containing only the object. So that, that essentially strips these values uh, at, at this point. Uh, what the use of this is that if I have this table stored in a, a graphical user interface, or actually the reverse is true, if I have objects from the user interface stored in this table in object var, I can still sort them by, the by a selected column using this method. I can sort objects for as far as I know, um, but I can sort by values stored in those objects. And the GOI, uh, the graphical user interface objects, get um, sorted with them. So that's going to be buttons and widgets and sliders and, and, and other stuff. Um, so I hope you've learned now that uh, if you want to uniquely define useful objects, don't use this method. Use uh, what I've done here. Store these uh, lists in the, in the vars instead of... Uh, appending. So that's the difference between this one and this one. So that, that's point number one. Point number two being uh, sorting lists of objects. So I hope this has been a useful video. Uh, I hope you, uh, you've enjoyed it and have a nice day. Go ahead and download Python, try this for yourself, modify it and well continue uh, have a nice evening. Bye.